What's going on everybody? It's me, the Beastly Gamer. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. It's a great time to be alive because I got some incredible news today about a game that it may be great, it, it may be amazing, but I just couldn't imagine it living up to uh, my memories as a child. I'm a huge beat-em-up fan. Uh, I think this whole thing started with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game uh, in 1989 in the arcade it was four player co-op you could pick your favorite turtle and go kick ass and uh, it was really a, a special moment for me because that was when the technology was kind of being born of course that game was later ported to the NES which was a I guess you know for the power of the NES it was really amazing but of course it, it just didn't compete with the arcade version and later on uh, when we started seeing more power in the home space we got the Super Nintendo uh, and games like Final Fight were released, and Final Fight was another arcade game that was translated over to the SNES, and uh, I'd say in grand fashion, uh, Final Fight on the Super Nintendo was really uh, on the level. It was very, very close to the arcade, but even though I'm more of a Super Nintendo fan than its competition, there was one game that uh, meant more to me. It was a more visceral experience, more exciting experience. It just made, when the music started, boss themes, uh, the animations, uh, you know, the special moves. It was Streets of Rage 2. Not Streets of Rage 1, which is also a very fun game, but Streets of Rage 2. When that came out in the Sega Genesis, I think in 1992, uh, it just, oh my god. It was the Sega Genesis sound chip, as well as fairly tight controls and figuring out how to how to manipulate it and, and kick ass in the game. And Streets of Rage 2 is one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time, if not the favorite of that era. Of course, games have come out since then that are better beat-em-ups, but I'm seeing now there is a new trailer for a game that's happening 24 years later, so 24 years after uh, the final Streets of Rage 3, which I never really got into. We have Streets of Rage 4, uh, and it's a trailer, and I wanted to watch it with you guys, so let's see what they have in store for us right about now. Lizard Cube. Full cartoon style. Axel. First Blaze. Oh man. Axel. Blaze. That's my chick. Oh my god. Oh wow. Holy shit. How do I feel about that? Um, that's pretty damn exciting. Uh, that is really exciting looking. I like the new cartoon style. Uh, I think it looks phenomenal, to be honest. It, it seems like a natural progression of what they started years ago. Um, I can't wait to play it. Uh, it doesn't have any release date information here. Uh, but damn, that looks good. And, and it's co-op. Will it be a four-player co-op? That's the question. There's Axel, there's Blaze, is Skates in the game? Um, we'll see. This looks really good. It looks really good, and I'm guessing it's coming to Modern Console. That's what I need to see in my life. That just made my day. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Was Streets of Rage, was it important to you? You know, growing up, let me know what you think. Uh, does this look like it's going to be fun? Let me know. And uh, if any old game from the past could be remade now, which one would you choose? And tell me why in the comments below. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Thanks for hanging out. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you guys liked the video. And stick around. I'll see you in the next one.